Hey there, and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create printable reports in your real estate financial models in Excel. Now to help me with this exercise, I'm using a model that we actually built in our real estate financial modeling accelerator program. So if you're an accelerator member, this model is gonna look familiar. It's part of the 10,000 Fitness Way case study where together we built an, an acquisition model. That particular acquisition model contained seven worksheets, five of which were input worksheets, two were purely report worksheets. And part of that exercise though, we didn't actually create printable reports, so I'll be using this model to do so. So let me first show the issue that you have with just a standard worksheet. So you build this entire model, and then someone says, hey, could you send a PDF version of this model to me? And so you go, oh, sure, I guess I can, I can print to a PDF or I could save to a PDF. And you come up to File, and you go Print. I got, okay, Microsoft Print to PDF, great. And then you look out to the right, and you notice that the, the page, the worksheet you've created, doesn't fit nicely on one page. In fact, if you look here at the bottom, it takes four pages to print the information in this one worksheet. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to nicely create printable reports so all of this information fits on one page in a way uh, that is visually appealing. Now, uh, the, the steps for creating a printable report are quite simple. You first create a print area and then you set the percentage of that area that should fit on one page, and then uh, you select the worksheets that you want to print and choose to print those. And it really is that simple. Uh, and nevertheless, this question has come up quite a bit in the previous months, and so I thought I'd, I'd build a, a tutorial video on how to do this. So first, creating a, a print area. I'm gonna start on this summary tab, and the summary tab contains both inputs outputs as well as a graph that visualizes NOI throughout the 10-year hold period. And, and so to select a print area, I first highlight the area that I want to be printable. And so in this case, I'll go really, actually let's select everything that is from column A through column O, from row one through row 50. I just select that entire area and then I come to page layout. And within page lay layout, I select print area, set print area. And it's that simple. So now I've selected the print area for this particular worksheet. And I can do that now for the balance of the worksheets acquisition. I'm going to choose oops, this entire section here. Again, A through O, 1 through 50, set print area. My 10 year, now here I only want to include the periods and I have a note section out here to the right. I'm going to leave that off and I'll go down to row 53. So I go column A through column P, row one through row 53, set print area there, come, come to the perm debt. Now this is one that's a smaller uh, range. Nevertheless, I'm just gonna do roughly that, A to R, 1 to 13, set print area, go to the reversion tab. I'm gonna select the entire section here, uh, A to O, 1 through uh, row 49, set print area. And then on my property returns, again, A to Q here, and I have both unlevered and levered returns. I'll come down to row 151, set print area. And then under partnership returns, here I only want to include through to there. All right, so down below, these are my uh, tiers, the waterfall itself, and uh, it's not really necessary. Well, let's go all the way to the bottom, I guess. Um, uh, if, I had, if I had a kind of three or four tier waterfall, then I might leave those out, uh, but in this case, I just have the two. So I select that. And so now I've set my print area for each of my seven worksheets. Next, I need to determine what percentage of each print area is included on one page or multiple pages. So the first, and to speed this process along, I'm gonna select the first worksheet in my workbook, and I'll come all the way out here to the far right, hold down Shift and click to highlight all seven worksheets at one time. And I come back to the page layout section, 
And under page setup, there's this kind of down and right arrow. You click that and it opens the page setup dialog box. And under the page section, I can first choose whether the page should be printed as a portrait or landscape. And then I choose scaling. And you can either scale as a percentage or even better fit to a certain number of pages wide and pages tall. And so there, there aren't any of my reports here that would require having multiple pages tall and certainly not any that would require multiple pages wide. So I'm gonna choose one page wide, one page tall, or in other words, all information on each worksheet should fit on one page. I can also choose the paper size. This of course is letter. Next I move to margins. And uh, I'm gonna leave my margins themselves this, just the default, but I wanna center the information horizontally on the page. And what that does is uh, if, if I have less area uh, horizontal, uh, I, I'll end up having a lot of white space off to the right unless I center horizontally. Now I could also center vertically, but I don't like the look of that. I want the information to start at the top of the page and move down until the information ends. So I choose center on page horizontally. I could also add a header or footer. Uh, so if you want to add a footer related to maybe the name of the, of the uh, model, um, your name, creator of the model, et cetera, you could do that under header and footer. I generally leave my header and footer blank. And then uh, sheet has some other uh, kind of additional features that you could add that I don't generally use. So with that, my page is set up. I hit OK. And now we come back to the summary tab. Now I've unselected the others just so you can see. What's, let's print just this one page. So we go File, Print. And here now to the right, you have a print preview and you see all of the information appears on this one page. Uh, we could then choose our printer, of course. And we print either to a PDF, which is more likely what you'll do, or print uh, to actual physical paper. So that's, but however, because we only have one page selected, you'll see down here at the bottom, it's only printing this one worksheet. So if I come down and I again, click summary, come out to the far right, hold down shift, clicked partnership returns. Now, if I come and print, you'll see, okay, we have this summary tab, but then down here at the bottom, you got one of seven. I can right arrow and I'll see the balance of my worksheets all in a nice printable format. So that is creating printable reports in your real estate, financial models in Excel. Let me know if you have any questions about this topic. Uh, otherwise, thanks for your time.